Um, I'm from DeSoto. I have a few, two kids that are currently going to Lexington Trails. Um, I grew up in this town. I started kindergarten and graduated high school in 1983. And a few of my teachers are actually sitting in the crowd. I'm not going to point them out because I may be aging them at this time. Uh, we're going to try to get a, a video together also. It'll take just a second. But I want to thank the Lexington Trails administration and staff for allowing me to come up and speak and for also having this assembly. This is a great thing to happen every year. And then the students to be able to get up and, and show uh, their talents and to showcase veterans, I think, is an outstanding uh, tribute to everything. And uh, I'll wait for the video to kind of get up. And then we'll, I'll talk for a few minutes, and then we'll get everything going. I wanted to speak for a few minutes, though, in regard to my background. Like I said, I graduated high school here in 1983. I was very active in sports, played football, basketball, wrestling, track. Um, even was very active in band and choir and performed a number of musicals on this exact stage that I'm standing on right now. So it's, uh, it's very nice for me to be able to come back and, and to pay something back to the students. I joined the Navy in 1989 at the age of uh, 23. My goal was to become a United States Navy SEAL. Uh, from DeSoto, there's three Navy SEALs. We all grew up together, and two of us actually graduated BUDS and went through BUDS training together. BUDS training is basic underwater demolition SEAL training. It's a 25-week training that uh, some will argue is the most grueling training in the, in the world. Uh, a number of things that you have to do to get ready for BUDS is a physical fitness test. The first thing, the first part of the test is you have to swim more than five football fields in 11 minutes. You rest for five minutes. You do 42 push-ups in two minutes. Rest for two minutes. 50 set-ups in two minutes. Rest for two minutes, eight pull-ups, then you rest for 10 minutes, and then you do a mile and a half run in boots in 11 minutes. I think some of the, some of the uh, intestinal fortitude that I gained here at DeSoto and even on the wrestling mat and on the football field is, I'm sure, what drove me through those, some of those tests. I then proceeded to Coronado, California, where I started BUDS training. One of the things that you have to do in BUDS training is uh, drown proofing. That was the most difficult test that I had to perform while I was there. This test, what it consists of is your hands are tied behind your back and your feet are tied. You jump into the pool and you sink to the bottom for five minutes. Then you have to float without touching the side or the bottom for five minutes. Then they call it traveling. You have to swim down to the shallow end, back to the deep end of your starting position. It's a little over 100 yards. Then you do the bottom drops again to catch your breath. Then it's a front flip underwater, a back flip underwater. Then you pick up a dive mask or a pair of goggles with your teeth. And so that was kind of a tough one for me. I'm kind of a bigger guy, but uh, I was able to push my way through and then uh, proceed on through BUDS. One of the biggest things that we do in BUDS training is Hell Week. Hell Week is week, week six. Uh, it consists of starting on Sunday afternoon, you end on Friday afternoon, and you get two hours of sleep the entire week. Um, during Hell Week, you do a number of things, push-ups, you carry boats on your head, you uh, do physical training with logs that weigh more than 200 pounds, and all of this is whenever we were uh, out in California, and contrary to popular belief, the water is not that warm. Uh, when I went through Hell Week, it was 58 degrees. So, um, I can talk a few more things of Bud's training, but what I'm going to do here is, is we're going to start a video, then I'll speak for a few more minutes. Uh, the video, what it's going to consist of, it's going to show you part of Bud's training, uh, a little glimpse of what Hell Week consists of, and then some other things that I did while I was in the military. I'm not in all of the pictures or all of the video footage that you see. I am in some of it, but this is just an illustration of some of the things that uh, Navy SEALs are doing on a, on a daily basis.